Kopachi Village, which was destroyed after the Chernobyl accident, the MTS base, machine and tractor station, abandoned combined harvesters, the Stockard trolleybus before the fire and the preserved kindergarten. Before you watch this video, I'm going to ask you to support my channel with a thumbs up. It won't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me and my channel. Thank you. After the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and the evacuation of residents from contaminated settlements, the liquidators of the Chernobyl accident were given the task to demolish homes of former residents of several villages located within 10 kilometers of the exclusion zone in order to prevent migration of radioactive elements outside the exclusion zone, as well as to these houses did not settle looters who would drag values from the town of Pripyat. Until 1986, more than a thousand people lived in Kopachi. Today, however, in the column number of population of this area is set at zero. Residents of the village, as well as other villages and towns, evacuated after the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. But buildings, for example, in the same Pripyat still stand, and Kopachi was buried under the ground in the literal sense of the word. Why Kopachi? The village Kopachi, Kiev region was mentioned in the book Tales of Inhabited Localities of the Kiev Province by Lavrenty Pohilovich in 1864. According to Pohilovich, there was a wooden church built in 1742. Next in this video, I will bring a recording of a documentary about the village of Kopasi. October 1989, and this is the village of Kopachi in the Ukraine. Although it's more than three years since the accident, the consequences of Chernobyl are still being felt today. Even today, entire villages are still being demolished. 135,000 people were evacuated from the zone around Chernobyl. Radiation means their homes are now fit for just one thing. It's a small, sad example of the continuing cost of Chernobyl. When the Soviet army finished, this was all that remained. After the accident, everyone was evacuated for 30 kilometers around Chernobyl. The nearest town was Pripyat. Today, Pripyat is still abandoned, except for a factory used by research scientists. 60,000 people once lived here. Too dangerous to live in, it's too expensive to demolish. Inexplicably, the tannoy was still working. What the woman was doing there, we never knew. But if people are returning to their homes, just five kilometers from Chernobyl, then even today, it's very unwise. Everyone can see, you know, if you're checking something down here like this. Um, alarm's on, straight away. The alarm's on, that's right. What's it meandering between? This is oh, about 800, something like that, at the moment, in this, just in this bit here. But in other parts, I've seen it up to nearly 2,000, actually, in what we've been testing while we're here. Right. I mean, I think that uh, in terms of the work here, we wouldn't want to hang around too long. An hour, an hour and a half, a couple of hours, something like that, to get all the filming done that we want to do. I think that's the sort of time. OK. The children who once slept in this nursery spent 36 hours under the fallout cloud before they were evacuated. I think of all the sad, deserted scenes that we've seen here in Pripyat today, perhaps the saddest has to be here in a kindergarten and this mutated tree. And there is April 1986, the growth before it, and there's the mutation to a different variety. And it really is a, a grim reminder of just how much damage the radiation could do. 
Before evacuation, the average dose received in Pripyat in just one day was 50 times the British limit for an entire year. The latest Soviet predictions for the 135,000 evacuees from the zone are an extra 700 fatal cancers. Only time will tell if the prediction is too high or too low. But Chernobyl is set to redefine our knowledge about the harm that can be caused by radiation. We discovered the final use for Pripyat in an abandoned greenhouse. The earth here was also strongly radioactive. Surprisingly, agricultural chemists were using it to experiment with varieties of crop that will absorb minimum amounts of radioactivity from the soil. Resistant seeds are selling well throughout the Ukraine and Belarusia. It's a bitter example of the lengths the Soviets are being forced to go to. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.